Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create a text file and write in it using Java. Now to create a text file, we need to import a package called Java IO. So to import a package, you need to just write import at the top and then Java dot IO okay and then we can add the classes which are present in this package for example i want to import a class called file which uh, we are going to use in this video or uh, we can include some uh, other files like buffer reader or buffer writer or uh, print reader or print writer so this java io package contains a number of classes which helps us to input and output to a file. Now, if uh, you are a little bit lazy and you want to include the whole package, there is a wildcard or the symbol called asterisk you can add to add the whole package. And this means you want to include all the classes, right? Which uh, you are going to use so uh, we are not going to be lazy and we will add the file class itself and one more class we are going to use which is called print writer so i'm going to add print writer okay now to create a file we need to create an object of a file class so just write file and give the name of the object is equal to new file and in the constructor you give the name to your file okay so for example file name dot txt okay so this is the name of your file or this will be the name of your file if you want to give the path i'm going to show you how you can give uh, some uh, particular path uh, to create this file but for now let's create this file in our project folder itself okay now to check if this file already exists or not we add a check here if and on this file object, we can call a method called exists and it returns boolean value, okay? And if the file exists, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. So if the file doesn't exist, so if file doesn't exist, so we are going to add this uh, not existing, then what we are going to do we are going to write or create a file okay so just write file dot create new file okay so this is the check to check whether this file exists or not okay now if you can see here it's going to give you an error because whenever you work with files uh it has the chances to throw some exception so for example your file is not present or your file is corrupt then it will throw an exception and basically right now eclipse is saying me that you should uh, add a handler for this using try catch block for example okay so i'm going to surround it by a try catch block so you can just click this bulb and just use surround with try catch block okay and it's going to surround this uh, create new file with try catch block okay now if you want to be uh, on the safer side you can just write a try catch block around your whole code okay so just use this around the whole code okay so it will whenever something throws you can catch it right now once you have enclosed your code in the try catch block and you have checked if your file exists we are going to write some content into the file so we are going to create an object of print 
writer and we are going to call it as pw is equal to new print writer and the argument which it takes is the file object okay so just use this file object here okay now using this print writer object you can call a method called print line as you can do with system out right so pw dot print line or print you can call these different methods on uh, this print writer object so i'm going to use this print line object okay and in here you can add a text for example this is my file content or you can even add a number to your file for example some thousands and always remember whenever you create a file and you are done with working with file you need to close your file so on this print writer object pw we will call a method called close okay so once you are done with this code what we are going to do is we are going to run it okay and let's uh, print something so that we know that uh, our project has compiled successfully and uh, executed successfully so i'm going to just sys out and i'm going to say done for example okay so if we see done here then we know that our project has run successfully so i'm going to save this and i'm going to run my program and it says done okay so that means our project or executable file has run successfully but where this file is generated so let's see now when you go to the properties of your project so right click your project and go to the properties and in the location you will see the location of your project so just copy this path here and go to your folder explorer and paste this path and press enter and you will reach to your project folder and you can see here this file name.txt is created so when you open this file you will be able to see the content so the first line and the second line okay now I i'm going to delete this file and run it once again so delete and we are going to run our program once again and let's see if the file is created again or not so run it and let's see in the folder explorer and file is created okay now let's change the name of the file for example file name one and save our program and run it once again and let's see in the folder explorer and we can see file name one dot text is created okay so in this way you can create a file using java io package in java there are different ways of creating uh, a file and this is one way of creating the other ways i will cover in the next videos so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now